Hey, hi, and welcome to this tutorial. In this one, we're gonna have a look at how to connect a LED strip that you just bought from your favorite um, website, Ali, Alibaba. No, I'm just joking. This is the worst website of the world, but still, uh, it's cheap. So I guess you, you got your first LED strip from there and your first LED controller from there. So we'll have a look at how to connect them into Mad Matter. So the LED strip, which the one I have is this one, it's five volt. It's uh, in the protocol APA102. You can have WS2815, WS2F12, whatever it is. Uh, it's uh, just a protocol. Uh, I have a power supply unit, some extension cables to, to plug everything. So this one is for the P uh, power supply unit. This one is for the LED LED strip that I'm gonna plug into the LED controller. And this is the controller I just bought for very cheap. It's not a, a good controller, but it's an okay controller to get you going and just to start working with ManMapper. And I have an RG45 uh, cable. So this is my gear. And I plugged everything. So this is the setup. So I plug this uh, into my computer there. Okay, this goes to my computer. I plug this uh, in its own power to 220 volts. Uh, I plug uh, this 5 volt PSU using the WAGO on the LED strip. Very simple, red on red, black on black. And the four cables here, actually I'm only using three of these cables because the power, the power comes from the power supply. But I want the mass to be shared uh, between the controller and the power supply. So I've just plugged the three of these, the ground, the clock and the data. And so that's the black, the yellow and the green, but my, the color might change in your setup. Another important thing to, to do, is to set up uh, the controller using the, the menu plus minus and OK. So what's important is to set the IP right. So the IP address here is the default one. Uh, it says 18, but actually the, the right address, this is just the, the, the final part of the address, but the right address is 192.168.0.18. Uh, so I set this to 18. The speed, that's the, the, the speed to refresh a rate of your controller. Uh, the default is uh, 40 frames per second. I leave it like that, but you can change this to 60 frames per second, for instance. The IC type, so that's the type of the protocol used for the integrated circuit. IC stands for integrated circuit. So I've chosen the right uh, for my LED strip is APA102. Could be WS2815, 2812, uh, whatever. Just set it right. Then I have a one meter strip. So I am counting the pixels in my, in my strip. So I have 144 pixels uh, per meter and I have a strip of one meter. So this should be uh, set to 144. And I have a uh, three channel by pixel because each, each pixel is RGB. Okay, RGB. So I have three channels per pixel. And the universe port uh, is set to one. Note that in ManMapper, the universe port start at zero. So this is going to be important at some point. And finally, uh, just to see uh, what I set uh, in my computer for the network, I've set it to a manual address and I've set it to 192.168.0.0. 99 because it has to be different than uh, uh, different than this one. This one is 18 and my computer has to be different. And the sub mask, this is the sub mask. So a zero here means that we are just working on the final range of value here. Okay, so once everything is working, maybe I go into MadMapper uh, preferences, boom there and in the project settings dmx uh, the output device i want to set it to artnet for instance i want to set the frame rate to 40 because it's what i set in my controller and uh, normally i should be good to go if i use the unicast i will see all the different uh, addresses that are available and actually my um LED controller is eight port, so each port you can see uh, as an universe uh, and as an output. So you can see that 
uh, MadMapper can see uh, the LED controller. It's the right IP, 19, uh, 18, okay, and the right uh, universes. Okay, I'm just going to click OK for now. And in MadMapper, what is cool in this uh, new version, version 6, is that you can use uh, the regular surfaces to make an actual composition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, something like this, for instance. Boom, let it put it there. So this is going to be my content. Let me right click and I don't need the perspective, so I can just uh use some square content i put it there okay so this is this is going and now uh if you go in the um, the canvas section of madmapper you can see there there's a video so i'm using the 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 video actually i wouldn't really need that output because this would go into a projector and here i have the dmx auto auto means that it will just grab uh, the content uh, where your fixture is. So now I have some content. This is my quad. I call call it DMX content. Okay. I could uh, add another layer of content of top on top of it. So let me just uh, copy paste it, and I don't know. Maybe use a gradient on top of it. Okay. This gradient. Let's say I just want to use uh some red color okay like this and i want it to be additive so it's on top of it so now i have two surfaces video surfaces and i am making a kind of um uh, composition okay and now i want to use a dmx fi fixture to sample the pixels uh, on top of this so i go to the dmx section here and i'm just gonna create a uh, a fixture boom like this so it makes a cool fixture i go i go there for instance and let me scale it okay so this would be uh, my strip okay so i'm there and my my strip here i want to edit it okay so let's make uh let's uh, make uh, a new one uh, let's make a new one i will call it uh tutorial uh, fixture okay so i'm going uh, i'm going to show you how to how to do this i'm just going to put it on top of my list and this is a fixture that is rgb pixels uh red green blue so the pixel size is three pixels uh, is three three component uh, three components sorry rgb that's three and the width is 144 because that's just the width of uh, my uh, LED strip. So my LED strips is 144 pixels and each pixel is RGB. Note that sometimes um, in the LED strips, uh, it's not RGB, it can be BRG or, or BGR, this I don't know. And if it's not right, I'm gonna fix it. Okay, so this is my fixture. Okay, so now it's there. Uh, uh, and I want to select it, uh, this one, okay, and I close uh, the fixture editor there, okay. So now I have my line, my fixture line, uh, that's 144 pixels, uh, and each pixel is a uh, three component wide, and it starts at uh, universe zero, okay. I can go to the GMX monitor, see what's going on, and if I look at the universe zero, Okay, I can see that uh, something is actually going on. So I, I am actually sending uh, values uh, directly uh, to my LED controller. And now if I want to have a look at what's going on, let me just go there and trigger my phone camera. Boom. Okay, so it's there. Okay, so let me just boom do this. Okay. So this, yeah, so nice feed, nice feedback. So now I'm having a look at my controller. It's there. Oh, oh, this is not related. Okay, and okay, and you can see it is working. But instead of uh, red, I have blue. So that means that the the channels are not set right. So let me go back to my fixture editor, and because of RGB. 
Uh, it should be BRG. Let's try it. No, it's green, so that's not BRG. Let's try BGR. Yes, it's red, so that's BGR. So I fixed the problem. And now I have a LED strip. Okay, LED strip that's going from my computer to the LED controller and to the actual uh, LED bar that I just taped it, taped it uh, on an aluminum bar. Okay, so this concludes, I would say, my tutorial. I hope this gets you going uh, very, very quickly. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you have questions, uh, leave it in the comment. Thank you.